birthday, kids. What time is it? by boys and girls here in Duty Bell and kids all over America. Let's go! Clarabelle, what? Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What? What? What do you have in your mouth there? What is that? What? What is that? Yeah. What is that? A bird whistle. Ah, silly clown. Oh, you silly thing. Uh, Kids. Oh, go away. Now, wait the a bird. minute, Clarabelle. Come on. Clarabelle. Yeah, I know. I know. Wait. Kids, this clown has been bothering everybody all weekend about the new kind of bird that. He thinks that he saw on Friday. Not only that, Buffalo, he's got a new brainstorm now. Yeah? You see, he says the new bird doesn't have any feathers. What? Oh. A bird with no feathers. Oh, oh right. that's ridiculous. Kids, now, I know that you've all seen hundreds of birds in your lives, haven't you? Yeah! Uh, kids, have you ever seen a bird that didn't have feathers? No! Why, of course not. All birds have feathers, Look, don't they? Looky here in my bird book, Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will show and prove that this Clarabelle is a real double cuckoo. Double cuckoo. Well, let me read about this. It says, uh, every bird has feathers. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Cobb. Thank Welcome. you very much. This proves it. Clarabelle, I want you to sit down here, would you please? Now, look, Clarabelle. Just so you don't think I'm making this up, I'm going to have one of the kids here in the peanut gallery read this to you. Sonny, come over here, would you please? Tell me, what is your name? Vic Levine. All right, Vic. Vic, does this look like a, an official bird book? Yeah. It does? Yeah, and Clarabelle is an official bird brain. <laughs> You're not yes, kidding, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> Sonny, look, uh, are these real pages? Do they look like real pages? Yeah. They do, don't they? All right, will you do me a favor? Does it look like I have written anything in with a pen or a pencil? It doesn't. Would you do me another favor? Would you read this exactly as it's written in the part that Mr. Cobb has underlined here? Now listen to this. Go ahead, read it, Vic. Every bird has feathers of some sort, and no other creature's creature has them. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Did you hear that? Every bird has feathers of some sort, and no other creature has feathers. Did you hear that? So according to this book, an official bird book, all birds have feathers. All animals with feathers are birds. And if it doesn't have a feather, it isn't a bird. So if you saw a bird that doesn't have feathers, it isn't. Yes, sir, and that uh, settles it, Mr. Clown. You didn't see a bird. A hundred percent right, Mr. Cobb. And I don't want to hear any more about that silly bird again. Oh, that clown. A bird without feathers. Clarabelle is trying to tell us that he came over here looked out of the window, out into Dutyville Park, and then he saw a bird without any fe... <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? Uh, Mr. Cobb. What's the matter? Uh, out the window in, in Dutyville Park. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Jumping crawfish! It's a penguin! A penguin? Two penguins! Why, that's fantastic! Well, what would those two penguins be doing in Dutyville Park? Well, they must be lost. Why, could those be the birds Clarabelle saw? Well, I don't think so. I know penguins have feathers, millions of them. Ah, that's right. No, you see, no, no, Clarabelle says it's... No, it's not the bird that he saw, neither of those penguins. No. Well, I can't get over the... Hey, wait a minute. Look. Eh? Now, what's that flying around there? It's a bird. A strange-looking one, too. Why, kids, I can't believe my eyes, but... Bouncing buffaloes. Wait a minute, Mr. Cobb. Eh? That bird doesn't have any feathers. Why, that silly clown was right after all. Hey, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, 
Bring the penguin in, will you please? Sure, because if he brings those penguins in, maybe the no feather bird will follow. Come on, Clarabelle. Oh, Clarabelle, bring the penguins in. Don't be afraid of them. Oh, don't be afraid of those penguins. They can't hurt you, Clarabelle. Oh, what are you afraid of? Oh, gosh. Buffalo Bob, I think it's gonna take a long time before Clarabelle brings those penguins in here. Maybe you better show a movie, Buffalo Bob. Yeah, and I'll go out and I'll help that fool clown bring those penguins in. Yeah, That's good right. idea, Mr. Bob, all right. Hey, kids, this might be a day to remember. Dutyville's first penguins. And maybe the first no feather bird in history. Well, it's old time movie time now on the Howdy Doody Show. And our movie today stars our old buddy with the derby and the mustache. What's his name, kids? Franny Hines. Franny Hines is exactly right. Well, now you watch. There's a truck here. Franny Hines is hiding in this little, uh, oh, this little enclosure. And that policeman, that's Jim Fremming. Remember Jim Fremming? Jim Fremming, the policeman, goes over and he says, well, I wonder what that is. Hey, Sam, the oh! The man is making Look. Look homemade pies, and Franny was taking them, so the policeman, Look. Officer Look. Fremming, is on his way right after him. <coughs> so Jim chases Franny. Careful, Franny. Hopey! Franny puts on a lady's dress and an umbrella. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. He got caught that time, didn't he, kids? Now, here's a letter, kids, and it says, My darling son, I hope you get work soon and send me some money, or Father and I will have to go to the poorhouse. Read this letter and don't fail to see me, her wandering boy at the Rialto Theater. So when Franny shows this letter that he received, the officer, Patrolman James Fleming, he says, well, I'll tell you what. Franny, he says, I'll try to get you a job. So Officer Fremming takes Franny over to this junkyard. Oh, careful. Franny says, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you actually get hurt doing this job? And they say, well, so Franny says, no, I, I don't think I want to do this. So anyway, Franny has a job. I don't know. But I don't know how good Franny's going to work out in this junkyard. Oh. says, well, how you doing, Fran? Franny says, oh, I don't know. He said, this is a little bit too difficult for me. So the foreman goes over, gets 
Franny working. Oops, careful, Franny, careful. Franny's working at this building here, right next to the junkyard. Franny's supposed to go. Oh, 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 careful. Oh, Franny drops all those bricks. He's the clumsiest fella. has the most stories? The library. No, the library has the most stories. Because that's a joke. That's a good joke, isn't it? Yeah. When I was your age, my grandfather told that to me, and he told me that his grandfather told it to him. What building in town has the most stories, Vic? Which one? That's right, that's, that's right. Good joke. You pull that. To tell that one to the wife. So when Franny sees that all those fellas are taken out on a stretcher, he says, no, I don't want to work here. Now kids, they're working. This is a, a munitions factory where they make explosives. Oh! Absolutely not allowed to light a match. Oh! See, Franny, you're not supposed to do that. So Franny is... She says, now look, see that fellow over there? She says, we gotta get rid of him. Actually, these fellas, they're not honest boys. They don't want Franny working in this factory because they're making these explosives and they want to keep it a secret. They're also worried that Franny might upset some of these explosives. You see what this fellow's doing here? He's going in through the plant and he's trying to find a secret formula for making these explosives. Whoa! This is the boss, and he happened to be just shot right into his office. And he says, I have the secret formula here. Now, this man behind the screen, he is trying to get the secret formula for these explosives. Somebody's going to tell the rest of his gang. He says, now look, he says, I saw the boss. He had the slip of paper with the secret formula on it. In the meantime, Franny is taking this keg of gunpowder here. his daughter. She's the one who has the secret formula right now. Aha, uh -huh, and as Franny turns around, those three fellas grab her, they take her away, they say, all right, come on, give us the secret formula. Franny's trying to find her, spilling gunpowder all over as he walks. Powder. Careful, Franny. Careful, Franny. Look out, Fran. Look out, Fran. Look out, Fran. Out a boy, Fran. Out a boy. What, sweetie? You're gonna have dinner out. Well, isn't that nice? Well, that's nice. A big day today, huh? I never been here. Get him, friend. And a boy. 
and he sees that all those fellows are trying to get the formula, so he takes the boss's daughter, runs away. Come on, Franny. Oh. Franny's on his way again, trying to find the boss's daughter because she has the secret formula. All these fellas are trying to get it. Nitroglycerin, Franny says, aha. I'll get rid of those fellas with this. time for today we'll show you the rest tomorrow yes that's the end of our old time movie for today well you know boys and girls now look as soon as we find out exactly what Clarabel, I don't think that Clarabel saw anything at all in the park I think he dreamed up the whole thing as a matter of fact howdy I hey what are you doing there howdy oh well, I I'm trying to open the top of my piano Buffalo Bob because I've got a little song to sing well go ahead howdy what's the song oh here it is Oh, Fifth Avenue candy bar, mighty good to eat. Nuts and molasses and chocolate and milk, go out and buy this treat. Well, good going, Howdy Doody. And say, buddy, I'll bet you feel a lot better now, don't you, Howdy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir, Buffalo Bob. I always feel better when I'm talking or singing about Fifth Avenue candy bar because they're so delicious that it makes me feel good just to tell the people all about them. I want everybody to enjoy a Fifth Avenue with their fresh toasted almonds and their crunchy peanut butter and molasses center and creamy milk chocolate, the kind that the kids really love. Oh, yes, you're right, Howdy. You know, kids, there just is no candy bar like a Fifth Avenue bar. And see, we have a big Fifth Avenue candy bar for every one of you boys and girls right after the show. Okay, kids? Yeah! Oh, and remember, kids, to buy the only bar with the big five on the wrapper. Fifth Avenue, Fifth Avenue candy bar. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Well, kids. I certainly hope that we're going to get those penguins here and we can take a look at them. And I hope Cornelius is managing all right with the penguins. Well, well look. Well, here they are, Howdy. Here they are. Oh, right here. wonderful, wonderful. What good-looking animals. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, and look. What? Here's the amazing no-feather bird, too. Yeah, you know, funny thing, but uh, this here no-feather bird sure seems to like these little penguins here. Well, isn't that funny? Well, yeah. well good. Well, then, then maybe the little no-feather bird will stay around, and, whoop, whoop. and we can look at it later. Oh, my God. But first, oh, there went Elsie. Well, now. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, Buffalo Bob, first I thought it might be fun if we, if we sort of, well, took a, a good look at the penguins, and... And then maybe, maybe the kids would like to take a look at him, too. Well, all right, Howdy. Say, uh, w w would you bring the penguins over, please? Sure, let's bring them over here now. Oh, aren't they wonderful kids? Look at the penguins. Say, aren't they wonderful? Thanks, Mr. Cobb. Yeah, I'd like to stock these in the store. Well, I bet you'd have a terrific market oh, for penguins. fine. Say, isn't this cute? Now, 
I know one thing. I, I think the penguins come from the South Pole. Uh, the only thing is, I don't understand how the penguins ever landed here in Dutyville. Yeah, well, you know something? They, uh, they look sort of hungry to me. Yeah, well, I don't know what kind of food penguins like, Mr. Cobb. Uh, what do you suggest we give the penguins to eat? Uh, Clarabelle. Clarabelle? <laughs> you mean Clarabelle? <laughs> Ah, oh, you, you you wouldn't feed Clarabelle to the penguins, would you, Mr. Conn? Now, don't be mad. He was only kidding. Oh, oh. was I now? We put a little salt on him? No, no, no. no. Yeah. Oh, we make him nice and flavorful, I, you know? I, 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 I know. I know you were just kidding, Mr. Cobb, I hope. <laughs> See, wait a minute. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't penguins... Wouldn't they maybe like uh, fish to eat, you think? Uh, oh, I get some fish, would you I please? They would. Uh, uh, you, you have no idea what their names are, do you, Mr. Cobb? Well, I reckon I heard you say one was Elsie, the one that hopped out Well, the there. one looks something like Elsie. That's why uh -huh. Oh, isn't this lovely, lovely fish? Mm. Oh, is that what they eat? Mmm. Mmm. Here, else. Oh, they, they don't see you. Else. Uh, whistle, Buffalo. Elsie and oh. <laughs> right. Here, Harvey. Harvey. Here, Harv. No, not you, Elsie. You've had yours. Elsie, look. Fish. Honey, never look below when it's above. Oh, so above. <laughs> hey. Now, you, you give them some, Clarabella. Hey, so they so tame, they eat right off your fingers. Oh, I reckon I'll try it. I yes. hope I'll... Here, Elsie. Hey, here. That's the girl. You're not, that, that's Elsie. Here, Harv. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> aren't, they, uh, aren't they tame? Here, Harv. Can they like a little bite of Clarabelle there? Yeah, no, uh, no, no. salt out? They, they, that's the girl. <laughs> hey, this is, she eats well, doesn't she? Well, that's fine. You know, I, I like penguins. I've never seen them before outside of in commercials, and I... I Oh, look, there's the flub it up. Hiya, Flav. Hi, hi, boy. Hi there, everybody. Oh, hey, look, Flav. Uh, yeah, I, I hear there's a giant goose in Dutyville. Yeah. Oh, now, let me uh, see. Let me see. Wow, yeah, look oh, at it. Only it's not a giant goose, Flav. It's a penguin. Oh, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> hey, what is this? This bald-headed chicken. <laughs> oh, no. Boy, no, oh, boy. I'm... What is that thing, boy? I'll, I'll be a meatball's mother. Yeah, well, it's... What is that? It's, it's a bird with no feathers, see, Pop? Oh, a bird with no feathers, and maybe it's a flying horse. Yeah, we, we can't... <laughs> Pop, get up to him. We can't figure out what it is either, Flav. Well, boy, I happen to be an expert, you know. I'm an expert on animals. But I happen to be on a bicycle now, so I'll talk about that. Oh. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. I'll study them both, and... Uh, well, by the way, let me see the pen. Will you get out of here, you you chicken with a crew cut? <laughs> right, let, uh, let me see the penguin bird first. All right, let's let's bring the penguins over and have uh, have Flub look at them. Over there now. Hey, right, penguin. Come on, Elsie. Come on, little Harv. Isn't it cute? Isn't he cute? Baby, baby girl. Yeah. Look My at goodness. These penguins, Flub. Looks Isn't that like. Interesting? Yeah. Huh? Hey, uh, up. Now listen, Birdie. Quiet, Bird. You you with the no feathers. You be quiet there while I talk to the penguin. Quiet. Away, Bird, please. Bye bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, say, wait a minute, Flub. Why? Very interesting, but that no feather bird seems to make a lot of noise whenever he gets close to the penguins. Wow, what a deduction. Yeah, well, forget about it. Uh, say hello to the penguins, yeah. Flub. Go ahead. Uh, hiya, penicillin. No. <laughs> no, Harvey. Oh, no Harvey? No. Oh, uh, here, here. It looks like a taxi going down the street with both doors open. Yes, yes. <laughs> this, this one is Elsie and that's Harvey. Uh, hi, Elsie. Hello. Hey, you know what he looks like? What? A marshmallow with a black coat. <laughs> yeah. Come on, say hello to him, Yeah, Bob. uh, wait a minute. I'm coming down here. I hope he's as friendly as he was in rehearsal. Oh! Wait a minute, Flub. That no, fur, no feather bird is flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bumblebee without the coat. Yeah. Now look, will you be quiet, bird? We're talking, please. Yeah, uh, look, little birdie. Will you please be quiet Wait while I continue Flub. to talk to the... I don't, I don't think you're going to stop. Stop! Anymore. Get out of here. 
ahead. Look, you better come up here now. Wait a minute. That idea that I had before about the, the bird only making noise when the penguins were... Clarabelle. Wait, I, I'm getting up here now. Look, no. Clarabelle, look, do me a favor. I want to try something. Move the penguins away, and I want to see if the, if the bird quiets down. Wouldn't it please move the penguins away? Well, they are, aren't they? What is he rolling it on, the Queen Mary? Did you hear that? The bird quieted down. Just as a... yeah. Move the penguins back, Clarva, would you please? Say, this is interesting. That must be a live house. Why, it's going to explode in a minute. Now, look. The bird goes crazy again. Not very much, but a little. Let's, let's take the penguins back. I was wrong. The no feather bird, the no feather bird is only happy when the penguins are near him. Did you notice that? The minute you move the penguin away, the bird stops singing. Gosh, all, all that no feathers too. Boy, you know, this is the strangest thing that I've ever heard of. Well, this is strange. Wait a minute. Gang, will you look at this? Hmm, a necklace. Well, who ever heard of penguins that carried a necklace around with them? Hey, and what's on the necklace? A feather. What? Wow, wait, That's not boy. a penguin feather. That's a, a very strange-looking feather, a peculiar shape, the zigzag zig. Zig well, did, did you ever see a, a feather like this before, or did you, Howdy? Let me see, boy. It looks like a lot of marbles on a string. I never saw anything like that before. Now, bird, go away, please. <laughs> now, the, the, <laughs> now, this necklace belongs to the penguin. Wow, get away. I better give this back to the ah. penguin and I... Uh, Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, give this back to the penguins, would you please, Clarabelle? You know, this is very funny. Actually, kids, it's been a lot of fun having the penguin here. And I, I think maybe they want to go back to wherever they came from. So, Clarabelle, do me a favor. Put the penguins back in the park where you found them, would you please? That's good. Gee, what do you think about all this, Flob? Boy, oh boy, how do you... I think there's some kind of a mystery about the way that, that, that no feather bird was acting. And you know, maybe it has something to do with the strange zigzag feather. Uh, maybe it has something to do with that, you know? Boy, you might be right, Flob. I will Probably. Hmm. Yeah, so do I want. Well, in the meantime, kids, you know, here we are. Already we're in December. Yes, and Christmas is just around the corner. Say, there's something else, boys and girls, that's just around the corner, too. And that's that old winter cold. Now, I sincerely hope that none of you boys and girls are going to get a cold this winter, but if you do, well, kids, there's something else that's just around the corner, too. And that is Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops. Yes, kids, you'll find Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops everywhere. And they're made by the very same people who make delicious Fifth Avenue candy bars. And kids, you're going to love them. Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops are flavored to taste good, and they're medicated to do good. Yes, kids, Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops are delicious, and they're good for you, too. So, very next time you're coughing from a cold, you get a box of Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops, the cough drop that's flavored to taste good and medicated to do good. Look here, boy. What's the matter? Look, what's the matter? Look, what's the matter? something I found in the back of the book here. It says, yeah. there's a rumor from Africa, there is one kind of a bird that has no feathers at all. There is? Yeah, that's right. Well, that must be the noisy no, bird no, that we saw. No, 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 no. The book oh, says the no feather bird only shows up if somebody's wearing a certain kind of zigzag zig feather, and I just never saw any. Yeah. Wait a minute. What, what? We did see one. You did? Yeah. The, the, you oh. missed it, but the penguins had a, a zigzag zig feather. Oh, look what it says next here, Buffalo. Yeah. Guys. We're gonna be rich! What? Let me see, let me see. 